Hello everyone! So, today we're going to determine a number that must be added to make the following expressions a perfect square trinomial. So, I already gave you the solution, the formula on how to find this number in my last video. But then, let us solve this in another way and in easiest way. So, let's start with number 1. We have x squared plus 2x plus 1. So, let us put aside. Then, look at the numerical coefficient of the middle term. That is 2. So, you're going to get copy that. And then, you divide it by 2 or multiply it by 1 half. So, in this case, let us divide this by 2. So, we have 2 divided by 2, 1. Then, square it. So, the answer is 1. So, you add 1 here. Therefore, it is now a perfect square trinomial. We have x squared plus 2x plus 1. Then, another one letter, number 2. We have p squared plus 20p plus t. So, here, for the second example, 20p, the... Middle term, numerical coefficient of the middle term is 20. You divide it by 2, so we have here 10. Then, square it, we have 100. So, 100 must be added to this expression to make it a perfect square trinomial. So, we have p squared plus 20p plus 100. Next, number 3. Let's say we have... x squared minus 16x. So, the numerical coefficient of the middle term is negative 16. So, we have negative 16. You divide it by 2. We have negative 8. Then, you square it. That is 64. Because negative 8 times negative 8, we have 64. So, 64 must be added to this expression to make this a perfect square trinomial. The next is um, number 4. We have x squared plus 11x plus, okay, that is a known. So, we're going to get the numerical coefficient of the middle term. We have 11. You divide it by 2, so that is 11 over 2. Then, square it. The answer is... Um, 11 squared is 121, then 2 squared is 4. So, 121 over 4. So, the perfect square trinomial for number 4 is x squared plus 11x plus 11, 121 over 4. Next, number 5. Number 5, we have negative 2 over 3, the new, the... Numerical coefficient is negative 2 over 3. Again, you have to divide it by 2 or multiply it by 1 half. So here, it is easy for us to multiply it by 1 half. Then, uh, we can cancel 2 here, the numerator, and then the denominator 2. Common factor is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1 here. So 1 times 1, we have 1. But the negative times positive, we have negative 1 over 3 times 1, we have 3. Then after that, you square it. So the answer is negative 1 is squared, 1. Then 3 squared, we have 9. So you add 1 over 9 as uh, to this expression to make it a perfect square trinomial. So we have m squared minus 2 over 3m plus 1 over 9. 